Hello everybody, welcome to iExambi's Legal Bee. This is Amrita, your law faculty at iExambi. In this video, I'm going to discuss with you all about the mock test questions from Transfer Property Act. This is a series that is exclusively started at Legal Bee, dealing with exclusive topics from different different subjects and topic wise MCQs are being covered. So this is a very comprehensive preparation for exam point of view. It gives you conceptual clarity and is good for revision purposes as well. Agar aapke koi bhi queries hai, you can write to us in hello at the rate or you can call on this number and visit our website also to check all the details. You can also write to us in the comment section of this video. Ya fir aapko kisi topic per questions ya video ki zarurat hai, you can directly mention in the comment section of this video also. We will surely try to come up with a redressal on that. Baki ke mock test series ke uh, topics ke videos agar aapne miss kiye hai. So I would suggest that aap playlist check kare. This series is started daily at 11 a.m. So don't miss it. It is having a lot of beneficial content for you. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the next topic from Transfer Property Act that is mortgage. I've already made two videos on the same subject. You can check out the playlist and in this video I will be covering mortgage. Mortgage is a very important topic hai, especially for banking examinations where you are going for law officer. If you are interviews ke liye bhi ja rahe ho, law officer se related to mortgage is a very important area hai, law. Ka. Redemption is the right of mortgager, mortgagee, creditor of mortgagee, surety of mortgagee. A, C and D. So, redemption is a very important topic from TP Act first of all. And you have conceptual clarity here. If you have read well, you will think that redemption is the right of mortgage. But if you have read well, you will have an idea that redemption is the right of creditor of mortgage also, surety of mortgage also. So, what is the of creditor of mortgage also, surety of mortgage also. So, except mortgage, everybody is having a right of redemption. And that is something which is your thorough knowledge which is checked in these examinations. So the correct answer will be E. And section 91 talks about the persons who may sue for redemption. So this is dealing with all these people. Which of the following is not true about redemption? Again a question from redemption only. Suit for redemption may be instituted by mortgager only. Suit for redemption may be instituted by mortgagers and co-mortgagers may be instituted by surety of the mortgage debt. Suit of redemption may be instituted by creditor of the mortgager. Suit for redemption may be instituted by all of the above mentioned. And this question becomes easy for you since we have already discussed the related provision in earlier question. But I want to give you a comprehensive coverage as much as I can. So I'm telling you that the type of questions can come from these areas. So the correct option will be A. Which of the following is not true? Pucha hua hai. And majority of people will think that all of the above is correct because we not ko aksar ignore kar dete hai. I'm sure that many people might have done that. So, which of the following is not true? They have asked you. So, remember, don't be in a hurry. Suit for redemption may, redemption may be instituted by a mortgage only. This is not true. Other people can also sue for it. A mortgage is, a mortgage is to be a certain field bordering on a river. The field is increased by alluvion. Now this is somewhat an application based question, situation based. Hai. A mortgage is to be a certain field that is on the borderline of a river. So that field is increased by alluvion. Alluvion deposition takes place. Then in that case, B is not entitled to increase by alluvion. He is entitled to increase by alluvion. He is entitled to increase for the purpose of security only. He is not entitled to contrary. A is entitled to receive it on redemption. Not entitled to the contrary. A is entitled to receive it irrespective of redemption. Now this I would say is a very beautifully drafted question. If you have type of conceptual clarity, definitely your exam will qualify. Hoga. Because your thorough preparation and conceptual clarity depend on how many MCQs come from If there are questions like this, So this also, there is a direct provision covering this. Answer C is the correct one. 
एक्सेशन टू मॉडगेज प्रॉपर्टी सेक्शन सेवेंटी डील्स विद इट ये सेक्शन भी आप इम्पोर्टेंट मार्क कर लेते हैं कर सकते हैं तो यहाँ पर स्पेसिफिकली मैंशन किया है दैट फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ सिक्योरिटी फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ सिक्योरिटी बी एंटाइटल टू सच एक्सेशन तो एनी एक्सेशन दैट इज मेड टू द मॉडगेज प्रॉपर्टी मॉडगेज यू विल बी एंटाइटल टू इट ओनली फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ सिक्योरिटी नॉट फॉर एनी अदर पर्पज When a mortgage property is leased, then mortgagee is entitled to the lease, not entitled to the lease, not entitled whereas mortgagor is entitled to the lease, entitled if there is a specific contract entered into, entitled to the premium amount of the lease only. So in this case, if a mortgage property is leased, now this is a double question, combination question है यहाँ पर confuse नहीं होना है, simple है mortgage G is entitled to the lease as well. Renewal of mortgage lease का provision है हमारे पास direct section seventy one and that also it can be covered. A mortgagee in possession has the right to spend money for preservation of property, spend money to support mortgage as title to the property, spend money to make his own title good against the mortgagor. A and C spend money for preservation of property and spend money to make his own title good against the mortgagor. All of the above. A mortgagee in possession has what rights that they have asked you? So this I would say is an easy question. Rights of mortgagee in possession, section seventy two covers this. All these rights are mentioned over here. Now this is common sense based question actually. The mortgagor ostensibly sells the mortgaged property in. Now, this is a very important question जो काइंड ऑफ मॉडगेज से रिलेट करता है एंड काइंड ऑफ मॉडगेज बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक है टी पी एक्ट का ही गोज विदाउट सींग दैट यू हैव टू थारोली प्रिपेयर इट सो फ्रॉम दिस द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी विच काइंड ऑफ मॉडगेज एक्चुअली हैज दिस एक्सक्लूसिव फीचर आई वुड सजेस्ट आप सारे काइंड ऑफ मॉडगेज में एक्सक्लूसिव जो की एलिमेंट्स है उस पर्टिकुलर मॉडगेज के और द एक्सक्लूसिव फीचर्स ऑफ दोज मॉडगेज पिक्यूलियर फीचर्स ऑफ दोज मॉडगेज आई वुड सजेस्ट दैट यू शुड गो थ्रू सो द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस विल बी बी दैट इज मॉडगेज बाय कंडीशनल सेल बिकॉज एंड इवन इन द प्रोविजन इट इज मैंशन सो मॉडगेज बाय कंडीशनल सेल डेफिनेशन इफ यू विल गो थ्रू इट विल बी वेरी क्लियर क्योंकि उसमें ऑस्टेंसिबली प्रॉपर्टी सोल्ड हो जाती है Later on, it is re-transferred when uh, actually the mortgage money is paid. So that is only the condition on which the property is transferred, ostensibly sold. Mortgage is right to redemption is provided under which section of the TP Act? Section based questions भी लिए हैं मैंने यहाँ पर, so that आपको हमेशा ध्यान में रहे that कुछ important topics हैं जिनके हमने sections भी याद रखने हैं. Very easy question. Section sixty deals with right of mortgage to redeem. Right to foreclosure or sale is a right of the. Other than redemption, this is the next important right or topic from the TP Act, and you have to remember this: the right to foreclosure or sale belongs to the mortgagee, and redemption, बाकी के लोगों का है. Mortgager, या mortgager से जुड़े लोग, creditor, surety, receiver. Section sixty-seven. Also, you have to remember deals with right to foreclosure or sale. Right to foreclosure and sale can be exercised when the mortgage money has become due, when mortgage money has become due, and before the decree for redemption redemption has been passed, when mortgage money has become due, and before suit for redemption has been filed, B and before mortgage money has been deposited or paid. Now this is a combination. Be careful of this question. Actually, this is only the correct option. C and before mortgage money has been paid or deposited. यू नेवर नो किस तरीके से लेंथ बढ़ाई जाए क्वेश्चन की करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज डी वेन मॉडगेज मनी बिकम्स ड्यू और रिडेमशन डिग्री हैज बीन पास और मॉडगेज मनी हैज बीन पेड और डिपॉजिटेड दिस इज वॉट इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन उस टाइम पर राइट टू फोर क्लोजर एंड सेल एक्सरसाइज किया जा सकता है लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर टू डेज डिस्कशन वेर रिमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ वन पर्सन इज बाई एक्ट ऑफ पार्टीज और ऑपरेशन ऑफ लॉ Made security for the payment of money to another when the transaction does not amount to a charge. It is what does not amount to a mortgage. It is what yes. Now this I have directly picked the section because mortgage discuss कर रहे हैं 
सो हम लोग इसे इग्नोर नहीं कर सकते विच इज दिस ट्रांजेक्शन वेरी इजी दिस इज चार्ज चार्ज इज हैविंग फीचर्स लाइक दैट ऑफ अ मॉर्गेज बट इट इज नॉट कम्प्लीटली सेम एंड द डेफिनेशन इज एग्जैक्टली वॉट इज मैंशन इन द क्वेश्चन ओवर यर डायरेक्ट सेक्शन हंड्रेड को पिक किया गया है यहाँ पे विच डील्स विद charges it is for the purpose of security but there is no delivery of possession and all those things like which we have in mortgage so this was all that i had to discuss for today's series mock test series from the topic mortgage we have discussed some important questions and tried to cover all the type of questions that can be asked from mortgage if you have any queries do reach out to us in the comment sections of this video and prepare 50% faster with i exam b thank you everybody